Good morning, Year 5, and welcome to Maths. I hope you found a nice, quiet uh, corner where you can concentrate away from any distractions. Do you have your pencil and paper ready? Fantastic, let's go. Um, I'd like you to complete this do now. Unpause when you finish, and we'll go through the answers. So, how did you do? Let's take a look. Number one, uh, the answer is four. Number two, the answer is six. Number three, the answer is A, three lots of eight. And number four, the answer is neither. So today we are going to solve problems using fractions of quantities. Let's get started. So before we do, let's take a look at what we did yesterday. So we are looking for four sevenths of 35. The first thing that I'm going to do, oh, okay. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is divide the whole number by the denominator. So 35 divided by seven equals five. Next, I'm going to multiply the answer in step one by the numerator, which is four. So four, five times four equals 20. So four sevenths of 35 equals 20. Let's do another one. One uh, two sixths of 138. So the first thing that I'm going to do is divide my whole by the denominator. And this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to use can you remember what method? Yeah, the bus stop method. So 138 divided by six. I can't divide one by six, so I'm going to regroup. 13 divided by six equals two remainder one. 18 divided by six equals six, 12, 18, three. Great. Now for step two, multiply the answer in step one by the numerator. So my answer is 23, and I'm going to multiply it by two. That's quite simple. I don't need to use the column method, but if it was a little trickier than I might. And the answer is 46. Fantastic. Right. Um, now, yesterday, uh, we followed the steps to success to follow fractions of quantities in an arithmetic context. But today we're going to deepen that learning further and we're going to use these steps to solve a variety of word problems. So let's take a look. Now, um, the first thing I need to do is to read the question really carefully and highlight the key information. Let's just take a look at our steps to success. Number one, highlight the key information. So I'm looking for the whole and the fraction. Step two, I'm going to divide the whole by the denominator. Step three, I'm then going to multiply by the denominator. Oh, sorry, by the numerator. And step four, I'm going to check that the answer makes sense. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the key information. A news agent receives an order of 85 newspapers a day. At 1300 hours, they have sold three fifths of the newspapers. How many have been sold? So let's see, I'm looking for the whole and the fraction. So I think it's my whole. And at 1300, they have sold three fifths of the newspapers. I've 85 three fifths. So I've highlighted the total number of newspapers and the amount of them sold. So what I need to calculate is three fifths of 85. So now I can start with my steps to success. Number one. Oh, I've done the first one. 
the first thing that I, the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the whole by the numerator. So 85 divided by 5. 8 divided by 5 equals 1 remainder 3. So I'm going to regroup. 35 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that's 7. Great. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my answer by the numerator. So 3 times 7, 7, 14, 21. 3 times 1 equals 1, plus 2 equals 5. So my answer is 3 fifths of 85 is 51. Oh, sorry, here we go. So let's try another. Anthony is completing a 18, uh, a, an 18 kilometer, oh, I think that's supposed to be race, at 9 a.m. So far, he has run five sixths of the distance. How far has he run? So let me see. The first thing that I'm going to do is highlight the key information. Hmm. I'm looking for the whole and the fraction. Um, I don't think 9 a.m. is a whole or a fraction, but I think that 18 kilometer, um, kilometers is definitely my whole. And my fraction, 5 sixths. Okay. So I'm now going to write my fraction. Oops, sorry. So 5 sixths of 18. Okay. Number one, divide the whole number by the denominator. So 18 divided by 6 equals 6, 12, 18, 3. Next, multiply this answer by the numerator. So 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15. How far has he run? Now it says 15, but I need to make sure that it makes sense. So actually the answer is 15 kilometers. Must remember to put my unit of measurement. Great. Okay, let's see. Try this one. Packs of 24 stickers are sold for three pounds. Tom uses three eighths of them. How many does he use? Hmm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the key information. So I think, um, I don't think three pounds is the whole or uh, the fraction because he's using three eighths of them and he's not using three eighths of three pounds. So I think we're actually talking about stickers here. So I think that's my whole. And I think three eighths is the fraction. So I'm going to underline that. I'm now going to write it out. So three eighths of 24. So I'm going to tick the first step I've completed. The second, divide the whole by the numerator. So 24 divided by 8 equals 8, 16, 24. That's 3. I'm now going to go to the third step. Multiply the answer by the numerator. So my answer is three, and I'm going to multiply it by the numerator, which is three again. So three times three equals nine. Good. So let me go back to my question. How many does he use? Mm, okay, so he uses nine stickers. Okay, great. Now I'd like you to complete the first independent task. Uh, pause with each question and then when you finish, unpause to move on to the next one. So this is number one. This is number two. This is number 
three. And this is number four. When you have finished, unpause and we'll go through the answers. So how did you do? Let's take a look. Here are the answers. We have um, 18 newspapers for question number one. We have 20 cubes for question number two. We have 21 cubes for question number three. And we have 35 pounds for question number four. So, now, so far, we've uh, we've worked out simple word problems and now we're going to look at more complicated problems using our steps to success uh, these ones are slightly more complicated because they're multi-step word problems so we need to be able to read the question and figure out exactly what it's asking us to solve there are two different methods that we can use i'm going to show you the first one so here is the question. There are 35 children in Liverpool class. Four sevenths of the class are girls. How many are boys? So I'm going to highlight the key information. So I'm looking for the whole and the fraction. Here is my whole, 35 children, and my fraction is four sevenths. Now the four sevenths are talking about girls. In the question, they're asking about boys. So that's something that I need to remember. But first of all, I'm going to calculate how many children four sevenths are. So I've highlighted my key information. The first thing that I'm going to do is divide the whole by the denominator. So uh, let me just write down my fraction, four sevenths of 35. So 35 divided by seven equals seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. That's five, great. Now I'm going to multiply my answer by the numerator. So five times four equals 20. And I know that this now is for 20 girls. However, we want to calculate boys. How many children are there in the class in total? Yep, there are 35. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my total 35 and I'm going to subtract 20 girls and that should tell me how many boys there are. 35 take away 20 equals, good, 15. So there are 15 boys. Check the answer, makes sense. Yes, I've answered that question. Great. Okay, so let's move on. This is the second step now that I'm going to show you. We have the same question, but we also know from our prior learning that our whole, if we're counting in sevenths, is good, seven sevenths. Here, I know that four sevenths of the class are girls. So this is my fraction, four sevenths. Therefore, the remainder, for boys is three sevenths. So instead of calculating four sevenths, I can calculate three sevenths, remembering that I still have 35 children in the class. So my fraction would be three sevenths of 30. Five. And I would do the same process. So 35 divided by 7 equals 5. And then I would multiply that answer by my numerator. 5 times 3 equals 15. And I immediately know how many boys there are. So it's a little bit quicker. So let's, let's go to our next question. A sack contains 45 pieces of fruit. Four ninths are pears and the rest are apples. How many are apples? So I'm going to underline my key words. 
my key information. I have the whole and the fraction. So I need the whole. This is the whole, 45 pieces of fruit. And my fraction, four ninths. Four ninths here are pairs. Great. But now it's, I need to read the question very carefully. What they want to know is how many are apples? Hmm. So let me see. I know that if I have ninths, nine ninths equals one whole. And I know that four ninths are pairs. So if I take away my numerators, nine take away four equals five, and the denominators stay the same, I know that five ninths are now apples. So this is the fraction of quantity that I need to calculate. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is divide the whole number by my denominator, 45 divided by nine equals 18, 27, 36, 45, five. And now I'm going to multiply my answer by the numerator. So five multiplied by five equals 25. And we have 25 are apples. Great. Okay. Let's take a look at this question. Limerick class has 64 cubes. Sussex class has five, uh, five eighths more. How many cubes does Sussex have? Hmm. So let's underline our key information. We have 64 cubes. And Sussex has five eighths more. How many cubes does Sussex have? Okay, so what I need to do, I know that 64 cubes is my whole. I need to calculate how many five eighths are. And then because it's five eighths more, I need to then add my answer to 64 again. I need to remember that. Okay, so I know that I've highlighted my key information. What's the second step? Read it out. Okay, so I've got five eighths of 64. So I'm going to divide my whole number by eight. I know my eight times tables. I know that 64 divided by eight equals Good. Great. So I've completed the first step. Read out the second step for me. Good. I need to multiply by the numerator. So 8 multiplied by 5 equals, shout it out, 40. Great. So now I know that 5 eighths equals 40. I've followed the majority of my steps. I still have the last one. How many cubes does Sussex have? Now, I know that Limerick has 64. Sussex have five eighths more. So I need to finish this last step, which is adding 64 to five eighths, which is 40. I know that that's 104. I'm going to double check that with my column addition, just in case. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Great. So there are 104 cubes, or Sussex has 104 cubes. Now, these steps to success will help you calculate the fractions, but you need to read the question very carefully because it might be asking you to perhaps add or to subtract um, from a total at the end. Let's take a look at this one. Gilby ate 54 grapes and Soraya ate three ninths fewer. How many did Soraya eat? So 
Let me highlight my information. I need to find the hole, which is here. 54 grapes and my fraction. Ah, here we go. Three ninths fewer. Now you've noticed that in the last question and in this question, I've also underlined fewer because this is really important to the question. What do you think fewer means in this case? Yeah, that, it, that it's less than. Hmm. So I have two options here. Do you remember a moment ago we, we, um, we chose to uh, find one fraction of quantity and then we um, subtracted it from the whole? The other option was to calculate the fraction straight away so that we didn't have to subtract it. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the uh, fast option. So three ninths. Hmm, I know that nine ninths of the whole, if she had three ninths fewer, then that will tell me exactly how many she ate. Oh, sorry, so I'm subtracting three ninths. So I know that if I find six ninths, that will tell me exactly how many Soraya ate. So I'm looking for six ninths of 54. Great. I'm going to take the first step. Okay, so my second step, divide the whole by the numerator. So 54 divided by 9 equals, um, I know that my 9 times tables, I'm going to use that trick with my hands. Oh, can't see them all. Okay, so that is hmm, 6, great, that's 50 and then 4. Now I'm going to multiply by the numerator, so 6 times 6 equals 36. Now I need to check that my answer makes sense. It's asking me how many Soraya ate. Is it going to be more or less than Gilby ate? Soraya ate 3 ninths fewer, so it's got to be less than 54, and it is. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. I'm happy with that answer. Now it's your turn. Remember to read the question very carefully to see what it is asking you. This is your fifth question here. Um, unpause it to move on to the next question. This is question six. This is question seven. And question eight. And then you have the optional challenge. When you have finished, unpause and we'll go through the answers. So how did you do? Let's take a look. Right, we have number five. The answer is 36. Number six, A, 270, and B, 135. Number seven, A, 84, and B, 36. Number eight, A, the answer is Callum. And B, the optional challenge, was 171 centimetres. If it helps you, here are the um, heights of uh, one third, three quarters and half. So 76, 171 and 114. So the optional challenge, here are the answers. Um, two. We have 32 here and 30, so the difference was two. And for number 10, 150 pages. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Don't forget to mark your work uh, before you upload it onto Seesaw. We look forward to seeing your work. Bye, have a lovely afternoon and evening.